What's up everyone and welcome to another episode. Earlier today we ran over to Harbor Freight to pick up one of these Atlas 80 volt self-propelled mowers. Stick around because in just a moment we're going to be unboxing this, testing it out, and then comparing it against an Ego 56 volt self-propelled mower. Let's get to it! We already had one of the 80 volt batteries, but we purchased another to ensure we have enough juice to power both the mower and the string trimmer that we previously bought. We also purchased an additional battery charger. We went with the standard charger as quick chargers damage batteries at a faster rate and our usage pattern does not require particularly fast charging. So it comes with uh, two attachments. If you do not put either attachment on, it will just mulch the grass up and deposit it right back in. Uh, your other option is the side chute. It's got a couple of little channels that fit on this bar. And with the side chute on, the grass will actually come out the side and leave it in the lawn. And then your other option is the bag. Kind of a similar deal. There's a couple of hooks. They hook onto the bar there. And the grass will be deposited into the bag. And then the only other thing you really need to do is put the battery in and you're pretty much ready to go. Battery just slides in and clicks into place. Um, it can take two batteries. It does not have to have both though. Uh, if you put two in, it'll use one battery until it's discharged and then switch the next one. In order to start the blades, you push this button down and while you're holding it, you pull this. And as you can hear, the blade started. Uh, and then in order to engage the self-drive mode, you just pull this up. Like that. Um, you can adjust the speed of the self-drive mode using this. And that's pretty much all you need to know. We're going to give it a shot, see how it works. One last thing I forgot to mention. Uh, you can adjust the height of the blade too. Using this, it's very simple. Uh, pull it back and move it to one of these notches. Uh, sorry, my dog is not happy. She wants to be in the video, I guess. <laughs> um, one is lowest, seven is highest. Um, it's real simple to do and one nice thing about this is it does adjust uh, both the front and back wheels uh, when you adjust the height.
All right, now that we've had a chance to try out the Harbor Freight mower, I wanted to compare it to our old uh, Ego mower. Now, the reason we are replacing this is because this 7.5 amp hour battery from Ego, it has failed. Uh, actually, it has failed us twice now. You'll see when you push the, the status uh, button, uh, it's initially green, but then it starts flashing orange or amber, and that means the battery, at least the battery, thinks it's overheating. This has failed the same way before. I was able to open it up and repair it, but this time it seems the uh, battery management system board itself has actually failed, and that I cannot repair. So. Uh, unfortunately, this battery is pretty much scrap at this point. A new, a new uh, 7.5 amp hour battery from Ego is about $350. From Harbor Freight, we, we were able to get a new mower, a battery, and a charger for $365. Um, that's not a 100% fair comparison because the Ego battery, as far as capacity, uh, has a little more than twice that of the Harbor Freight batteries. That said, for less than the price of one Ego battery, you can get three of the Harbor Freight batteries and get more total capacity. Instead of putting another $350 into a battery that we're worried is going to fail again, we decided to get uh, a whole new system from Harbor Freight. We've been very happy with Harbor Freight tools as far as longevity goes, uh, and so we decided to switch over. Um, unfortunately, while the Ego tools seem to be well made, the batteries have quite a few issues. We have friends that bought an Ego mower and battery around the same time that we did, and their battery has failed uh, as well. Uh, reading online, it, it, it seems that Ego battery failures are unfortunately pretty common, so we don't want to invest that much uh, into Ego batteries again uh, for the fear that they're going to fail. Now that said, uh, as far as the mower goes, how do they compare? Power seems to be uh, about equivalent. Now we don't have a crazy lawn um, as you can see or as you saw but both of them mow great. Um, they both have plenty of power uh, to get through R1. As far as adjustment goes, the height adjustment, the, the Harbor Freight one is actually quite a bit easier to use. The, the Ego one, it's, it's pretty hard, especially if you're raising it up. Uh, now that said, that's something you're probably gonna do like once and, and probably never change it again or, or pretty rarely, so that's, that's not a huge deal. There are a couple of things that I prefer on the Ego. Uh, one is, as far as uh, handle height adjustment goes, the Ego is just a one button click. It's real simple to do on the Ego. On the Harbor Freight, uh, as you saw, you have to pull uh, both of those mechanisms out in order to adjust it. And it's kind of hard to do uh, both of those at the same time and, and get them uh, to latch at the same height. We do fold our mower up. Uh, so every time we use the mower, we have to fold uh, the handle up and then fold it back out. So that is that is kind of uh, an annoyance on the Harbor Freight, at least for us personally. That that is not something that would prevent us from buying the Harbor Freight uh, mower again. In addition, the the Harbor Freight handle, uh, the the middle section, the way it folds out, and then you have to tighten uh, a couple of knobs. That that's a little bit more time consuming than the Ego one, where you just snap these out uh, and then the handle actually slides in and that's it. Um, and then again, to fold it up, that's it. it. You know, it takes a few seconds on the Ego one, um, whereas, you know, it takes a little bit longer on the Harbor Freight one. Um, again, like I said, it, it's just a minor annoyance. Uh, it's not enough that it would prevent us from buying the Harbor Freight one again, though. Um, as far as starting the blade on the Ego, it's almost exactly the same uh, as the Harbor Freight one, just the, the start button is in a little bit different location. So those are pretty much the same. As far as self-propelled goes uh, and speed adjustments, uh, again, pretty, pretty equivalent on the Harbor Freight versus the Ego. The only thing 
uh, again, that I would say the Ego is a little bit nicer on is engaging the self-propelled uh, motor. On the Ego here, if you can see, uh, there's just a there's a little handle right here that that's real simple to engage with your thumb like this. Uh, whereas on the Harbor Freight, there's a, a handle down here, uh, and so having to actually grab that that handle to engage the uh, self-drive motor on the Harbor Freight one is a little bit, I, I wouldn't say harder, uh, a little bit more work, I guess, though. So there are some nice things uh, on the Ego that, that the Ego does, uh, in my opinion, better uh, than the Harbor Freight. But for the price, it's impossible to beat the Harbor Freight mower. So we are happy with our purchase uh, of the Harbor Freight mower, and we are not going to be going back to Ego. It's a shame because the Ego tools themselves are well built, like I said. We just don't trust the batteries anymore. We've So there you have it. We're, like I said, we're very happy with our Harbor Freight mower purchase, uh, and we're looking forward to hopefully many, many years of use out of it. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, uh, please consider giving us a thumbs up, and uh, if you'd like to see more videos on uh, tools and DIY and, and home renovations, uh, please consider subscribing uh, to our channel as well. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you're notified every time we upload new videos. We'll see you all next time.